Proper priming of your ECTA pumps and buffer inlet lines is essential for consistent and accurate flow. Priming will remove air in the pumps that causes uneven or pulsing flow and can result in poor chromatography performance. In Unicorn, select the buffer inlet line you want to prime from the flow path in the manual commands or from the process picture in the system control window. It is not necessary to start a flow when priming the pumps, but it may help to remove stubborn air bubbles trapped in the pump heads. If desired, set a flow rate of 5 to 10 milliliters per minute after selecting the buffer line and start the pump running. Attach a syringe and purge tubing to the purge valve on one of the pump heads for the pump you are priming. Open the purge valve approximately one full turn and gently draw back on the syringe. If you were unable to pull any buffer through, continue opening the purge valve until buffer begins to flow into the syringe. Continue drawing buffer into the syringe until you have removed all air bubbles. Close the purge valve, remove the syringe, and repeat the process on the other pump head. It is very important that you always purge both pump heads when priming the pump. When you are finished, ensure both purge valves are tightly closed. Set a flow rate and check the flow coming from the waistline to see that it is even and consistent. The pressure curve should also be stable. In Unicorn, repeat the buffer inlet selection process for each line you wish to prime. As before, use a syringe to completely remove all air from the buffer line and both pump heads. Remember, when priming the sample pump on an Ecta Avant or Ecta Pure, you must change the position of the injection valve from manual load to another position before setting a flow rate. A good choice is setting it to sample pump waste. This will allow you to run a flow from the sample pump after selecting the sample inlet line you want to prime. 